Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another video, the T on MPD and relationships. Hey, family, y'all know how we do. Hey, to everybody, listen, to all of our new subscribers and new family members, thank you all so much for joining us. And welcome, y'all, to my tribe and family at large. Welcome back. Hey, y'all, thank you all so much for coming back to see just what I have to say on the matter. Yes, indeed. So you know tomorrow night, can you say tomorrow night, is our Thursday night live stream. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. I want to see you there. Okay, I want to see you there. I believe that it will take your healing to another level. You know, I'm always telling you that, okay? So come on out to the Thursday night live stream, all right? Listen, y'all know every time we drop a video here on the channel, the goal of the day is 1.2K. If you rock, switch your girl. Hey, you know how we do it, y'all. If you rocks with your girl, hit that like button one time, one time, okay? Two times, whatever. Make sure it's lit up when you hit it, okay? That part. So listen, I want to jump into the topic of this video. I want to I wanna talk about, I haven't covered this particular type of narcissist um, in a video in depth, I don't believe, okay? Um, but I've mentioned them, but I haven't covered them. Okay, so I want to talk about this religious narcissist. This has to be by far, I want to say, uh, the most cunning of them all, and one of the most dangerous narcissists of them all. Why? Because they do everything in the name of religion, and typically, you know, especially those. Uh, especially those of us here in the Western Hemisphere, we, we tend to think of religion as, you know, a safe space, you know, or people that are religious, safe people. You know, that's what we, we typically think. But let me tell you something about this bird right here. This religious narcissist is all the way, when I tell you it, all the way demonic, all the way demonic. You know, they are really dangerous because... They actually gain access, you know, through religion. And, you know, you, you start out with scriptures, baby. Ha! But you end up <laughs> with stripping. Okay? Yes, I said it. Ha! Start out with scriptures and end up with, with, with stripping. Okay? This is, this is uh, how they typically get, get down. Some of the most perverted. When I tell you perverted people you can ever think of and why do I say that I say that because anytime you have an individual that will sit up and take and weaponize the word of God against you in order to enact their abuse that's a cold piece oh it's so demonic that is so demonic but this is what the religious narcissists this is what they do they come in in the name of religion and listen they come in all forms okay so don't get yourself thinking oh well you know it, it's it could just be a person in a congregation in a lay uh, uh the, uh in a in a laity position meaning you know somebody without a title in a congregation no they come as these religious narcs they come as bishops they come as some of them apostles uh pastors uh prophets, prophetess, whatever you want to call it, um, teachers, evangelists, preachers, all of that, okay? It does not matter. It doesn't matter. They come in all forms. I need y'all to get that. I need y'all to get that, okay? Please understand. Do not, if a person, and this is this is the number one thing that, that will give away a religious narcissist, okay? This is the number one thing. You have to be able to pull yourself. This is why you have to take your time to get to know people, okay? You don't know a person when you just, how you just going to know somebody? You going to be in a relationship with somebody after two, two weeks. What are you relating to? What are you relating to? I just want to ask that question because we're going we gonna to get deep into this thing on tomorrow in the Thursday night live stream. We're going to get deep. In, what are you relating to? In two weeks, 
I said it to you all before. You need to see a person angry. You need to see a person when they just don't have enough money. You need to see a person when they are uh, sick or maybe not, not feeling too well. Maybe a little down on their luck. You know, you need to see how people handle themselves in all of these type situations before you want to get yourself in a whole relationship with someone. Because you don't know if you're going to relate to them after they get angry with somebody. They might be calling that person that they're angry with everything but a child of God. Okay? And you you sitting up there just know you've only known the person two weeks and now you to you saying, Oh, well, you know, we in a relationship. Now you are not relating to them calling calling this person this and calling this person that. You're not relating to that. But you in a whole relationship. I'm trying to tell y'all. This is this is the thing that gets people about religious narcissists, okay? This is the thing that gets them is because they don't they don't watch they don't, you know, when people, when people get involved with religious narcissists, what typically happens is they do not test the spirit. They do not inspect the fruit. Okay. They, you, you know, we will, what we'll do is we will let these types of people in because they're using the word of God. They're speaking scriptures. <clears throat> They're speaking scriptures. They are, they're talking about, you know, they got a whole religious jargon that they use. You understand what I'm saying? A whole religious jargon that they use. And so then, you, you know, we tend to let our guard down because of that. Not inspecting the fruit, not inspecting the fact that, uh, they, you know, whenever they're coming to church, they're not driving in their own car. This is a car that they're, they've borrowed. Um, they're from house to house, living from place to pay, place. Now, am I saying, now am I saying that that's every religious narc? No, absolutely not. But what I am saying is that you have to be a fruit inspector. They don't have, and, and some of them may not have relationships with their families or kids, you know, I mean, there's a lot of things that go into it, but in specific, when we're talking about a religious narc in a, in a uh, relationship or, you know, in a romantic situation, when you have a religious narcissist in a romantic situation, they are very conning. Like I said earlier, these hell minted frogs will start out with scriptures. Boy, they'll be they'll be quoting. I'm talking about all of, they go all in the Hebrews, all up in uh, look a book that we don't even read uh, too often because you know they want to see seem scholarly. Okay, they all up in the book of Philemon. You know what I'm saying and things like that. You know, and you're like, whoa, I never heard it like that. But for you know because they trying to be all like they like they're just i mean they just extra with it and and when they do this they're having and and you know they're they do the same things that other narcissists do they'll keep you on the phone talking about you know uh talking about god and religion then they slip a little sex talk in there i said it they slip a little, you know, where where they turn on some secular music and you're like, mm, that's a little out. That that's a little off. But okay, I guess, you know, that's a man. They're a man. Or perhaps it could be a woman. Woman too. Okay. So they're human. So next thing you know, next thing you know, you know, y'all, y'all are talking all night long, and you know, the conversation is kind of slipping and going left. But, you know, you're thinking, no, this couldn't be. They wouldn't do that because they're they're a religious person. Family, I need y'all to hit that like button, please. This is what they do. Get all down in them scriptures. Then, then when you say something to them like, oh, you would do that. Then they'll, you know, they'll back up for a second. They'll go back to the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? Go back to the scriptures and uh, uh, throw you off. Um, yeah, you know, we can't do this and do that come over to your house at all odd you know at our odd hours of the night they want to have bible study you know they're going to come over there at seven o'clock at night okay seven o'clock at night it's only two hours before you're going to hit nine o'clock three hours before you hitting ten and those are uh those are bc hours y'all know what bc hours uh, mean right booty booty call hours okay that part and so they're going to have a whole bible study you know, but see, you didn't know that Bible study was going to turn into body study. <laughs> ah! Man, 
Bible study turned into to body study. Okay, y'all ain't studying the anatomy. Y'all not studying the Bible. They they are technically studying your anatomy, gazing into your eyes, telling you how beautiful you are, or if it's the female, how how handsome you are. Talking about you, you know, just the way you wear your clothes and everything like that. You sitting up there like, what in the world is happening here? But you know, you see. The thing about it, by the time they get to that point, you under the hypnotic spell. You are under the hypnotic spell, baby, and they got you rocking and reeling. And let me tell you something. You sitting there like, and a lot of y'all going to testify in the comments like, I didn't even know how we ended up there. Yeah, because they've been talking that talk. They've been talking them scriptures and this and that and the other. Let me tell you something. Number one giveaway. They want to do sex before marriage. You know that 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 can't be from God. That's a number one giveaway. I tell y'all, when you are dealing with a religious narcissist, these are ones that do not keep the covenant of the holy book. They don't. They do things. They do little subtle things that will give them away. But it, see, if you're paying attention... What are you sitting up, if you supposed to be, you know, if you supposed to be believing God, if you supposed to be a Christian, if you supposed to be, you know, whatever title they may have, why are you talking to me about anything sexual? Why are you sitting up future faking about, or, you know, why are you sitting up here future faking or uh, talking about when we get, when we get married and how we're going to make, make love? Why are you? Why is that even coming up in the conversation? Like we are, we've only known each other two hours, <laughs> you know, two days, two months. You know what I'm saying? These are small telltale signs. And see, the thing about it too is what they'll do as well, especially for a lot of you um, queens out there. These religious narcs got to you in such a way where they really got in your pocketbook. Okay, they had you buying them suits, had you buying them ties, baby. You was going down there, you was going down there in downtown LA getting them C, uh, uh, in, at CNE. <laughs> you know, that's how we do it out here in California. But you were going down there getting them, uh, them gator shoes with some ostrich. Oh, he doesn't even ask for a Burberry bow tie with some cuff links. Quit playing, <laughs> man. You done got him a whole car. You don't went and got a personal loan for them to start their business and everything. And this bird is a straight up demon. I mean, a straight up demon is what I'm saying. And you're sitting there like, what in the world is going on? And you know what? All the time. And then you, and, and let's go back to the scene with the Bible study. You all of the time. Now, this, this one, are, by the time that you don't start buying things and everything, you sleeping with them. Y'all, and, and it's on a regular basis too, but but they're supposed to be saved and they're supposed to be walking with the Lord and they're supposed to have this position and that position in the church. I'm telling you, y'all, it is the most, when I tell you this one right here is got to be one of the most demonic besides that female narcissist, this religious narcissist right here is very cunning, very captivating with their words. You know what I'm saying? Very captivating because the way that they speak and the, the way that they talk, it's just, it's, it's almost like you're being lulled to sleep. You start with the doggone scriptures and end up with uh with with uh stripping. You cut you go over her house and you think you going yeah you think y'all gonna sit down for Bible study baby she coming for body study she done came out the room baby with a whole Victoria's Secret three piece on. <laughs> ah! Okay or whatever you want to call it it could be a, a Walmart three piece or. Uh, um, I don't know, it, uh, whatever kind of three piece, but it, whatever it was, you knew it wasn't Bible study getting ready to go down. You know what I'm saying? He done came out there. You coming over for Bible study. He done came out. He freshly showered with a robe on and you smelling cologne all over the place. Uh, uh, you have to look at the telltale signs and they will swindle you out of everything they will have you buying all kinds of things for them in the name of in the name of the lord the devil is a lie 
You got to learn how to discern spirits. You have to learn how to discern the, the intentions of people. And the way that you, and the only way that you're going to be, be able to do that is by way of the Holy Spirit. You're not going to be able to do it on your own. That listen, the, the type of demon that they have, you, you can't do, you can't detect that type of demon on your own. Your carnality won't be able to pick up on it. You're going to literally need the Holy Spirit to do this for you. Okay. You need the Holy Spirit to do it for you because I'm going to tell you something. These religious narcissists play no games. They come in to take and extract as much as they can in the name of the Bible, in the name of, of the Lord. What kind of Lord you serving? Because it show it's, it show isn't uh, the most high God. It show isn't uh, you. You can't have any kind of relationship with Jesus. Not doing that. I mean, does a man fall? You know, do we fall? Absolutely. Do, are we perfect? Absolutely not. But the telltale signs, the 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 subtle the subtle transition into carnal conversations, sensual conversations, causing your mind to wander and go other places. That's not God. And then we'll turn around and and weaponize the Bible against you. And then not not to mention they will twist up the scriptures. That's why you got to know the word of God for yourself, family. You got to know it for yourself. They are, and, and the next thing you know, you broken. Your spirit is just, I mean, your spirit is just broken. Because you have received a, 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 an attack on your entire soul, your in existence. And a lot of people run away from the church after this. Run away from the body of Christ after experiencing a religious narcissist. I'm telling you, if they don't, this is another one. If they don't get their deliverance, if they don't get their exorcism before they leave this earth, that, that's going to be a special place in the hot place for them too. Because you don't, you don't do the people of, of God like that. You don't do the people, the children of the most high like that. You're going to pay. I'm going to tell you something. These religious narcissists, they're going to pay for what they did. They're going to pay for that trash because you know what? The devil is a lie. You're going to go around and you're going to use the Lord's name in vain. The most high's name in vain to use and, and to extort and abuse people. I'm telling you, they're going to pay. But they are the worst. They are the most cunning. You know, they know they have that. Um, They have what is it called? Uh, that the, the way that they speak and charismatic oh they have that charismatic charm you know what i'm saying oh they got it they got it on lock pay attention pay attention to the fact if they if their credit is jacked up and they they haven't had one divorce and and enough time to recover from it put two and two together use your logical mind come out come out of that emotional thinking use your logical mind you got to put two and two together, inspect that fruit and discern, test every spirit, discern that thing, discern it and you and, and, and let the Holy Spirit always be your God. You cannot go wrong with that because these these ones right here, they have the ability because of the cunningness and that demonic entity, that religious demon is something else. Listen, it's a it's a demon of pride and everything else. That's one right there that's hard to get out. When you doing a deliverance session, that 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 religious de demon ain't coming up out of there cuz see it's it's already sealed with the pride and leviathan works in tandem with the religious spirit. You understand what I'm saying? Jezebel does and Python. They all work in tandem. I'm telling you. So family, I wanted to put this out here for y'all. Y'all make sure y'all uh, share this video. Okay, family. I love you all. And I wanted to really hone in on this religious art because I got a lot of requests for it. So I want to talk about it and get this out here. Okay. So I love you family. And I will see you all on the next video. And I will see you all healed at the top. Shalom family. Peace.